What's up, you guys? Shardmas Prime here, doing an edited 4K action figure review on the NECA Toys Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Cartoons Metalhead Deluxe figure. If you're trying to get your NECA toys, you can do so at Bittery Big Bad Toy Store, proud sponsor of the Shardmas Prime YouTube channel. If you're trying to get your TMNT figures or all kinds of other goodies, you can do so over there. Link in the description below. And I gotta give a big thanks to Dino Designs for helping me acquire this figure over here here and NECA Toys for sending out a review sample as well so I'll be selling one of them or uh, you know giving one away or figuring or reverse scalping one way or another but yeah you know someone's gonna get it for a really cheap price or at cost at the most but anyway uh, on the side right over there there's Metalhead nice product shot on the inside we have the velcro closing this up over here and you can see there's no figure inside on the side it says Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles uh, the mighty Metalhead and then on the back right over there you can see some awesome product shots there's Master Splinter and then there's Metalhead right there. There's a little read-up on the back that says Metalhead ha Metalhead has the minds of all four Ninja Turtles ingrained into his programming. This robotic reptile comes with a full arsenal of accessories including six hands, swappable drill and vacuum arm attachments, and opening chest panel with plug-in blaster. And we'll show all that off soon enough. And if it sounds like I'm talking through a mask, it's because I am. Uh, there's a lot of smoke here in my area, and this garage is not built for uh, living space, you know, it's it's not actually, you know, a habitable, habitable living space, so it smoke just comes right in here. So, anyway, you can see all the people responsible for creating the figures right over there. So, yeah, let's get to it and take a look at the accessories. So, here's the interchangeable hands and a coffee stain, of course. And I wanted to take these hands off first. So, uh, yeah, we get fisted hands right here, which look pretty good. Nice paint on those ribbed part portions of it. If I darken things up, you can see it maybe just a little bit better. And then here's some grabby hands. So he can hold weapons if you want to give uh, him some of the turtles' weapons. You can do that. And then you have these open hands right there. And then you get a vacuum cleaner which is great, I like that, and it has a hinge right here at the bottom, maybe if I could shut off the auto, it'll stop clicking, but yeah, you can see how it'll hinge up and down like so, and just ports onto the hand. As I'll demonstrate, you have the chest blaster with the cable that also plugs in, I'll show that off in a moment, and then we have the drill right over here. So, let's plug in some of these accessories just so we could see really quick, so you could see, just snaps on, as easy as can be, just boom, right there. Uh, same thing with the vacuum cleaner, same deal, just ports on like that, it has that tab and it just ports in there, so that's very cool. And then to show, actually I'm going to take this off because it takes up a lot of room. And then showing off the chest plate and everything with the blaster, you know what, let's show off the head sculpt first actually because I really love how this thing looks, man. This is so dope. I mean, this is so dope, man. Really good looking figure. Came out very clean in my opinion. I really like it a lot. Looks very cool. Very cartoon version right here. And then I like how you get a switch right here on the back. You could actually flip this up and down, which is really cool. So I do like that feature right there. Very clean, man. I really like this. Uh, you know, NECA's just killing it with these TMNT figures. A uh, little weird scuffage stuff even before opening it right over there. But the other copy doesn't have it, so not a big deal. And then you could open up these panels right here. And then you can grab the bl chest blaster. And you want to make sure that the... Uh, you know, we have the square shape facing upward. That's how it's supposed to be positioned. And it just ports in right here. You can see that there's that shape it ports into on this panel right there. So I'm going to I don't know what my voice is. All right. Ports in like that. And then the cable is little, tr it's just so ready to port in there. So it's really not that hard. But me trying to demonstrate is a little trickier. But yeah, there it goes. Just give it a little push. And then that's in place, and blah bow! Yeah, that's awesome. You got Metalhead. He has grenades on the sides right over there. Everything looks nice and clean. Really good looking figure. There's the bottom of the feet. He has the peg holes, copyright stuff. Very, very dope. Dual tone right here with the shading and everything. And this isn't as fragile as I thought it would be. As I was interchanging the hands earlier, at one point I accidentally dropped the figure and I was like, oh, okay, that's had to have snapped, but it did not. So, not that I recommend you drop the figure to see if it would do that, but you know, I'm just saying. All right, anyway, as far as articulation goes, 
The hands all hinge up and down and you can swivel them side to side. So they all have that same articulation right there. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this because I don't want that getting in the way or anything. Uh, the head turns side to side. And by the way, you wanna heat up your NECA figures before you start posing them around. Uh, you could pivot right here, get the side to side. He'll look up just a little bit and down more so. He also has jaw articulation, which I really like a lot. So that's very cool. And then you get shoulders that move forward, back. You can move them outward. You get a bicep swivel. Uh, a double jointed elbow that only really meets at the 90 degree, well, not even the 90 degree mark. It's a very soft rubbery material right here for these elbow pads. Uh, but still, yeah, you're only going to get that far. And then no elbow rotation at all. Uh, you do have a waist swivel right here. So I love how that cuts right into the middle of the figure. And then you get these ball joints right here on the hips so he can move forward. Uh, he can kick forward just only a little bit and back only a little bit. Upper thigh cut. Double jointed knees that meet the 90 degree mark. And then his ankles do move down. He's got some really good hinges right there. They move up the tiniest bit. And then he does have ankle pivot. Pretty decent ankle pivot too. So I like that. See how well we could get that ankle pivot to really stretch for us. See, kind of like a Glenn Webb um, kind of thing. Both feet still flat on the floor. And if we could see the feet, that's about the widest stance you can get, you know, right there both feet flat on the floor. But let's get him uh, standing in a neutral pose and measure him out and everything. So to measure out this deluxe metalhead figure, you can see that he is standing right at seven inches tall, which is really cool. And then to compare him to Bebop, uh, you can see that he's actually a little taller than Bebop over here from the from the Rocksteady Bebop 2-pack. Uh, actually, they're the same height, which I actually think is pretty good. So that makes me happy to see. And then here he is next to the NECA TMNT Leonardo. So that height isn't too bad. Metalhead's supposed to be pretty big. I do want to see how one of these swords go into one of these weapon holding hands really quick though just to see how this fits to try it out and that works out beautifully so no problems over there that's very cool and then for a metalhead comparison we have my g1 metalhead right here and wow yeah very different designs going on i do like how this looks with all those intricate lines sculpted in there and the you know vac metal gold and everything for the torso i'm missing accessories i think there's a helicopter thing attached to that but yeah you can see the differences in the designs on those two and then to compare metalhead to another green meanie we have the marvel legends big time badass spider-man so you can see how much taller he stands to a marvel legend so yeah man I really like this figure a lot. I think it's actually pretty impressive. Uh, I love what NECA is doing with their TMNT stuff. They're just absolutely slaying it. Uh, this is a little bit more expensive than their other figures, and rightfully so, because you're getting a whole lot more stuff over here. And I think it's actually pretty badass. I really like this figure at the price point of around, I want to say like 35 bucks, something like that. I'm going to give this a sudden rating of... I love it! Or it's actually closer to like somewhere in between. I love it and it's so awesome! Because it, it really is an amazing metalhead figure. For real. Look at him holding a katana like that. That's so cool. I don't know. I think this is awesome. So I, I really love this piece right here. Thanks again to Dino Designs for looking out. Thanks so much to NECA Toys for looking out. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you liked the video, don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe button, and the notification bell. And I should have another video going up later today. It may be another 4K review. We shall see. But I hope you guys like the edited videos. Like, I've been, you know, editing these 4K videos lately, and I think it's just going to uh, make for uh, better entertainment. So I hope you guys like it, and I will catch Catch you guys later. Peace!